Donald Trump spoke in Somerville, South Carolina for what turned out to be a rather ridiculous and brain melting speech that he delivered. And at multiple moments, he just seemed noticeably, concerningly confused and disoriented and just was rambling about all sorts of, in some cases, made up things and hard to even interpret things. Now, the first clip I'll show you very uh, much emphasize what I'm talking about here, where he's talking about a rule change in relation to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and a change they were attempting to implement and didn't actually go through. And then is connecting that to his obsession with the idea that windmills are horrible and in this case he's saying they kill whales which isn't actually the case so try to decipher what he's saying here then i'll give you the actual facts of what i guess he's alluding to just one example of crooked joe's extreme regulatory attacks the biden administration is right now trying to bludgeon the boating and maritime industry we were just discussing it with a lot of boat companies back there that create a lot of jobs and having a hard time with a boat speed limit of less than 11 miles an hour, about 10 miles an hour. In other words, like a slow golf cart. It's like a, a think of it, along the entire eastern part of our country. This is supposedly in the name of preventing whale strikes. But you have a better chance of being struck by lightning than hitting a whale with your boat. There has only been, listen to this, one such whale killed off the coast of South Carolina in the last 50 years. But on the other hand, their windmills are causing whales to die in numbers never seen before. Nobody does anything about that there. So I honestly don't even know where these things come from, how they turn into what they turn into. Very strange. I guess since it's on his teleprompter, it's his speechwriter who's finding in the deep, dark depths of the right wing media echo chamber uh, these talking points. So what I guess he's referring to is the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration proposed a rule change that got blocked by the Republican controlled House Appropriations Committee, at least as of now, that would have extended a 10 knot speed limit, which currently applies to boats longer than 65 feet down to boats between 35 and 65 feet long in areas specifically that the NOAA determine um, right whales to be existing. And right whales are these extremely endangered whales. And so in those areas where they exist, there's the speed limit that applies to longer boats. Now it's going to be shortened or that's what was proposed. And then it got blocked. It, then you hear what he says, what? <laughs> and then he connects that to his obsession with his opposition to windmills. He's previously said that windmills cause cancer. Not true. He's very concerned about the birds. <laughs> We've gone through that. And now he's saying they're killing whales. They're the danger to whales. Well, multiple organizations have fact-checked that, and there's no evidence that windmills are killing whales. But separate from the data on it or the evidence, just common sense-wise, how would a windmill kill a whale? How? I get how a windmill could kill a bird. How would a windmill, if it's in the ocean, as some of them are, it's not spinning in the ocean. It's above the actual water. So the whales are under the water, Trump. Are they going to run into the bottom of the windmill and that's going to kill them? No. Very, very bizarre. But again, I don't know where this came from. Some reporting that he hated the way they looked off of his golf courses or wherever this started. Now he's obsessed with hating windmills and making up nonsense about them. He also got confused about Jeb Bush and George W. Bush and said this. It's less than four months before the season starts. We start in Iowa. We go to New Hampshire. We come down here. You know, the beauty was when I came here, everyone thought Bush was going to win. And then they took a poll and they found out Trump was up by about 50 points. Everyone said, what's going on right here? They thought Bush because Bush supposedly was a military person. Great. You know what? He was a military. He got us into the uh, he got us into the Middle East. How did that work out? Right. But they all thought that uh, Bush might win. Jeb. Remember Jeb? He used he used the word Jeb. He didn't use the word Bush. I said, you mean he's ashamed of the last name? And then they immediately started using the name Bush. Never forget it. But we came here. It's less than. Yeah, right. Making a whole lot of sense. By the way, to the whales clip, just making up nonsense. He's pretending like that's the number one killer of whales when there's no evidence is killing any whales. And 
a spokesperson for the White House said if Joe Biden did anything close to that, it would be on every nightly news broadcast. I have my own theories about what's behind editors, a uh, giant warped and effectively partisan double standard. But the bottom line is the double standard needs to end. And it gets back to this idea we talk about a lot where any little gaffe, any little moment that seems to uh, uh, reveal a lack of communication efficacy on the part of Joe Biden is focused on by right wing media constantly and liberal media. And liberal media constantly ask the question of Biden's age and his mental acuity and how concerned should we be? And then that is rarely brought up when it comes to Trump's countless bizarre moments and inability to critically think. Then moving on, uh, still on the subject of this speech, Donald Trump once again brought up Lindsey Graham in his home state and Lindsey Graham got booed. Another man who's always there. He's always I'll tell you what, when I need help on the left, he's great. He's great. And he's my friend, too. Lindsey Graham, wherever you are. Lindsey, thank you. Oh, no, no. He helps me on the left. We need help sometimes. Republicans shouldn't need help on the left, but he helps me. Also yes, because Lindsey Graham is a notable liberal. Uh, I asked at a previous South Carolina rally, one of the supporters why they booed at that rally lindsey graham and she said it's because he's two-faced he's gone back and forth on trump he's gone back and forth on these different issues and on january 6 he said i'm out about donald trump and then now he's back to boot licking and i agree that's a sign of a low character dishonest person it's hypocritical but trump does that constantly and Almost everyone who supports Trump at one point was saying he was horrible and now doesn't. So why Lindsey Graham is the one they care about that with, I don't know. Ted Cruz being a prominent example um, for sure. Then you have this just completely, again, you might be watching this and think, yeah, this is just Trump. It's just another Trump speech. Imagine if another presidential candidate, if another, especially Democratic politician, said this paid us hundreds of billions of dollars. Not one president got 10 cents from China. I got hundreds of billions of dollars from China. They weren't too happy with me. Hence the China virus. Just as casually as could be. Hence the China virus. He's saying because I put tariffs on China, they purposefully unleashed COVID on us. That is so detached from reality, so conspiratorial, and barely makes the news. And also, we'll go back to, he still doesn't understand how his own tariffs work. China and Chinese companies don't pay higher prices because of those tariffs. U.S. consumers, U.S. companies bear the burden of his uh, tariffs as we've looked at analysis many times in the past on. Then just one more deeply confused moment from donald trump everybody has a cell phone they're all talking on these beautiful cell phones and they're expensive ones too they're nice ones somebody who's into that said those are good phones and then i say who pay, who pays their bills who's paying the bills marjorie do you want to check that i'll give it to marjorie she'll figure that one out fast no but you ever notice they're all coming in with cell phones our veterans don't have cell phones do they but they put illegal aliens first and everyone first, but he puts America last. He puts the weirdest thing. Right. So just not anything of substance there. What do I even address? <laughs> Completely and totally ridiculous.